Good afternoon everyone. It is currently about 10 to 5 on Tuesday, I think it's the 28th of August today, and I've done my period. About half an hour ago, so I've just been into London, hence the reason my bag is packed, um, just here. About half an hour ago, I, I actually caught the train that goes to my parents' house, because there's one that goes to mine that goes via their line, their station as well, and there's two that go via their station, but doesn't go via mine, and I missed my one by like two minutes, so it's like, I'm not going to wait another half an hour, I'll just go and say hi. And then my dad was kind enough to give me a, a ride home, which was good, because when I got to their house, I'd been having like these, like, really bad sort of cramps in like my front and my back and I knew my period was due so I suspected I'd probably started and I was right there's only a tiny little spot at the moment but it, it's there um cramping is kind of on and off I was wearing jeans so I've currently got like the front open because I need to change out these actually and put some sweats on it's too tight but um yeah totally bearable right now I haven't really started bleeding yet but I will soon um, yeah, I just wanted to jump on and give you a quick update because obviously this is the start of the period vlog for this month and my camera battery is flashing at me. So the first thing I've got to do is charge this camera um, battery and then I will see you in a bit. It's coming up to half past seven now and I'm thinking of getting starting to make some dinner because I'm getting a bit hungry. Uh, I think I've decided to do a one pot spaghetti bolognese. I've done this a few times. It's quite a good meal It's nice and like nutritious and pretty easy to do as well I basically just I get asked a lot where my recipes come from most of the vegan stuff I cook is either like old recipes that I've tweaked that were some of my favorites or I've got them from this YouTube channel uh, They're called the happy pair. It's these two Irish twins and this is the one pot spaghetti bolognese as you can see um they do like loads of really great easy vegan meals like quick five minute meals which in reality take like 10 to 15 minutes but that's still really quick and they're like all healthy and stuff so if you're interested in finding some more like good vegan meals to try then definitely look at these guys on youtube they have a cookbook as well i think i have one of their books um but yeah i like i'm a visual person so i tend to like watch their videos just to like spark my memory and they're not too long either so you know it's really I find them really great, I think it's really um, awesome to see and it's just, you know, makes it much easier to cook uh, A, healthy but also be vegan, so a lot of their stuff is just healthy and quick to cook it, even regardless of whether or not it's vegan, so even if you're not vegan I recommend you give them a look because it's, it's really fantastic some of the stuff they do. Anyway, I now want to get started on that, pick up some of these old glasses, clear out this room. Yeah, I've been feeling okay, like I've, I've started properly bleeding now, like I um, had to go and put a pad on, it's getting dark now. This is the sad thing about the end of summer, like it's starting to get darker again. Not fun, oh I need to tidy up in here. But yeah, I'm just gonna get started with the cooking now, I think. Seems to be cooking along nicely and I managed to clean up some of the side as well, which is good. I also remembered I really needed to do a, a wash, so I've just thrown the laundry on. And uh, yeah, been very productive. That should be ready in about five minutes now, I reckon. And I'm definitely feeling hungry. I'm glad I started when I did. Anyway, um, I also take the bins out, empty all that stuff out, so got quite a bit of cleaning work done. Um, and yeah, like today was quite calm. Other, other than going into London and I was doing some work while I was up there, you know, I had a, just a normal fitting. Um, I think I had a fitting the last of my period blocks, so I've been exactly 28 days, like exactly four weeks, which is kind of spooky, but uh, yeah, anyway. And um, yeah, so I was up in London um, for a fitting, and then when I came back down today, on the way back, as I said on the train, I started feeling the cramping, and I thought, hmm, I must be starting. But I actually didn't think I was going to start until tomorrow, because I ovulated. Well, I got pain in my hip a bit later this month, which usually means I've ovulated a day later, and that usually means, oh, washing's done, and that usually means that my period will start a day later because it's quite consistent um, but I also suspected that it might start today so it wasn't a total surprise but I was kind of hoping it would wait till tomorrow because I have some new stuff on the way I've got some new period panties from Flux to try they haven't arrived yet but they've told me they've sent them out which is great um, and I also have this like um, pain relieving patch which you stick on and it's not a heat patch but it's like got, got all these natural essential oils and stuff which is supposed to help with relieving menstrual cramps and it's had some pretty good reviews but it's a very new company it's UK only and they only started in July I think so they've only been going like a month or two and I found them online while searching for natural period pain relief because I was looking at how bad ibuprofen is because ibuprofen if you take it too much by the way can affect your fertility go and have a look at the little um 
uh, leaflet, well it's not little, it's quite big, but the leaflet inside is like a pack of Nurofen or any ibuprofen. Like it can affect your fertility if you take it long term and obviously I don't want to do that so I'm trying to find other ways to manage the pain so I don't have to take it um, like every month which is ultimately like my main goal but I can't take paracetamol because I have a condition that affects my liver so I can't do that. Um, but yeah, so I was looking online for this and I came across this patch. So I just sent them a message and was like, hey, would you be willing to send me some? And this was only on Sunday, I think. And they came straight back to me and said, yeah, sure, would love to give it a go. We'll send it out to you. Yesterday was a bank holiday, so they couldn't send it out to me then. But I think they've sent it out today. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it will arrive tomorrow and we'll be able to give that a go. But I'm really excited to try that because I'm always key, keen to try natural stuff. And I know a lot of you guys are interested in that as well. So yeah, always trying new stuff for you guys. So I've just had dinner and it's 9 o'clock now. Um, I don't think I've mentioned this before, but I actually have a guest staying with me at the moment. She's this really sweet lady. And she went to like a Korean, um, she's not Korean, but she went to like a Korean store today and got all these amazing like gifts and goodies for me, which I thought was really sweet. And she knew I was vegan and she really tried to like find things that were vegan, but I understand it's quite hard. But anyway, she found these, which is the, like, it's Korean Oreo, can you see? And I was like, I'm convinced this must have milk in it, it looks like white chocolate. But then on the back, it says it has an artificial flavour for milk, but the milk isn't highlighted. And the wheat is, so I'm assuming this is okay. Look, it comes in like this bar. I've never seen anything like this before, it's really cool. Um, but I'm just really confused because, yeah, let me show you. So usually allergens like wheat are highlighted, but you can see artificial flavour, milk, it's not highlighted. So I think it just must be, as it says, artificial and doesn't actually contain any dairy, which is fantastic because it means I can eat it. Win. It's 11.30 now and I'm just having some tea and a couple of squares of chocolate. It's a treat to treat myself to. I love Bourneville chocolate and the best thing is that it's, it's vegan. I was so happy when I discovered that. I don't know if it's like one of those technically vegan things, you know, which have to have the approval and everything, but there's no milk or anything in it, which is like, hallelujah. I can't pray because I'm holding the camera with <laughs> with one hand, but you know what I mean. Anyway, um, yeah, so so far today has been really good. I'm sort of, I'm a bit apprehensive because I, the last couple of periods, like day one has actually been pretty plain sailing but day two things have started to pick up and the pain sort of got a bit worse um and like the last couple of more this morning i woke up i don't think i've mentioned this yet i woke up with really bad pain like right here in like my stomach area and the only thing i could attribute it to is i started taking a different supplement which was a stronger zinc tablet which i think can cause um stomach pain but i'm pretty sure it can um and i know i have low stomach acid anyway which zinc is supposed to be part of so it's supposed to help with that but you know, um, I did think that might be causing some problems, so I switched back to my old one, which I've been fine on, um, tonight, and yeah, that's all good. I am bleeding, but I've still not properly started, if that makes sense. Like, I'm, I, I know I'll get heavier than this, and that's when I need to be a little more, con we'll, we'll know, have a better understanding of, like, how the pain is, basically, but, like, certainly for day one, it's pretty darn good. It's, as I said before, it's like 11.30 now. I only took one ibuprofen tablet, like not even one dose, which is two tablets, just one tablet at I think 5.30. So how many hours is that? I don't know, you can work it out, but it's a lot. Like it's it's a, it's a pretty decent amount of time. And um, usually when I, when I wasn't taking these supplements, like the adenomyosis by this point would have kicked in and like made the pain pretty unbearable. So. I'm pretty pleased with that at least. I was able to cook a proper meal and everything, so that's all good. I'm currently just watching a documentary, like a BBC documentary. I think this one's about like alcohol um, addiction stuff and might watch some Netflix a little bit later, see how I feel. Try to get to sleep a little bit earlier, I think, tomorrow if I can. Um, tomorrow I don't have any plans, just like a little bit of work, I guess, but that's probably good because We'll see how I am in the morning, we'll see. But uh, yeah, I had a bath earlier, I put some Epsom salts in, put the Femna, like soothing equilibrium oil in, I rubbed some oil on my belly, which is like the menstruation oil. Let me grab the little roller thing that I had. This is from Femna, oh, this is also Femna. Loosen up, what's in this one? Ingwa and Seuss orange, ginger and sweet, oh, ginger and sweet orange. Reading it in German, apparently. Yeah, so I just rolled some of this on, it's called Loosen Up, Loosen Up, which is, I don't know, it's just, it, as, it smells very gingery, but it's lovely and warming, and rub it on, it feels really good, so yeah, hopefully tomorrow the patches will arrive, and we'll also get to see how they work. 
Morning guys, it is currently 10.48, so basically 10 to 11. Um, I woke up at about 10.30 and I didn't have any interruption in my sleep last night, which is great. Obviously you can see I've just woken up, my hair is all over the place. But when I got up, I went to the bathroom because I always feel a bit constipated when I wake up on my period. And of course, while I was in the toilet, uh, there was a knock at the door, which I knew was the postman. And I was trying to think like, what have I got coming that I need to sign for? Um, but anyway, I was I was like, okay, I need to get up and go and actually see him and try and get the package. And thank goodness I did because it turned out to be this patch that I've been waiting for. Um, the company had sent it in this, I got this long envelope and I was like, what on earth have I ordered? But then I saw this little stick on the back and I was like, ah, brilliant. I know exactly what it is. So this is the patch you're talking about. This is the BU patch. It's 100% natural. Uh, specifically designed for period cramps and they've got all these little you know things with it you can win 500 pounds if you leave them a review by the way so let me just say that and anyway this is the actual patch itself so <laughs> I read it all up while I was in the toilet again um, but thank god I did get up and go to that because I really wanted this to try this today so you need to open it up there we go and then it's a resealable package so that's I haven't opened it yet so we'll see together oh I can smell it already. So this is a patch that is made, as I said before, it's 100% natural, and the ingredients are menthol and eucalyptus oil. 10% um, menthol, 5% eucalyptus oil, and each pack like this contains five strips, so it's enough for like one period, they say. Although for me, I think, and they last 12 hours, so we'll see, That's pro that probably is a, a good period for me. Maybe I have one or two left over, we'll see. Anyway, so, ooh, this is what the, strips look like it's like a flesh coloured well it's a Caucasian flesh coloured um, strip and they're all wrapped up in this little kind of um, papery thing here so I'm not going to pull that out though I'm going to reseal it, oh, it smells amazing so the instructions say, there's little directions on the back, very simple take out the strip from the cover that's this, peel off the protective inner from the cuts in the middle there's um some little lines here and then place over pain affected area application you can put it on your lower back or your lower abdomen below the belly wherever the pain is and dry the application area completely before use one to two patches to be applied in one day or as directed by a physician if applied on hair in warm water and yeah so dry the application area I'm actually going to use I don't give you these but I've got a little alcohol wipe here which I'm just gonna use to clean the area because I always get my pain on the front of my body, like my lower belly here. And as I put on that um, essential oil last night, I just wanna make sure that it's completely clean. Okay, so I think it's dry. So they say do it from the middle. So you've got this part here. I think this is how it works. And then you just stick it, oh, let's see if I get up here. Just stick it right on the belly there. I'm going to press that down and then I'm going to peel back the last two corners. There we go, that's that's what it looks like. So it's pretty discreet. I don't think you can really see it that easily. I mean obviously I'm, I'm quite olive skinned, I'm quite Caucasian, so if you were darker skinned you'd probably notice it more. But I guess you're going to have a um, like a cover on your belly anyway. So yeah. Let's see how this goes. It says it will take about like 20 minutes, I think, to kick in. Or it doesn't on here, but when I was looking at it online, it says it takes about 20 minutes and it's not a heat patch. So it won't get warm, it'll just start to tingle. So it takes like 20 minutes to get tingling. So we'll see how it goes. So I'm just having some lunch now. It is, oh, it's actually 3 p.m. I had I had some lunch earlier, but I'm having seconds, which is just some more of this um, bolognese from last night, which is nice and easy, because I just have to heat it up. Um, yeah, like a little while ago, unfortunately, like the pain started coming back and at first it was just like a little uncomfortable and I was like, okay, I can deal with this. But then it really started to pick up and I was like, I'm going to have to take some ibuprofen. So in the end I did. I mean, that has stopped the pain like completely, which is great. Um, so I think like it's got a nice cooling action to it. I fe definitely felt like the coolingness of this patch about like 15 minutes after I put it on and that was really nice but it, it wasn't strong enough for me to wipe out the pain which to be honest was a big ask because I do have adenomyosis I do have like an actual physical thing causing this pain um, but I was just curious to see and like it's nice it's cooling it's certainly not unpleasant um, I might actually try putting one on my back as well I don't really get pain in my back though so 
yeah I don't know we'll see but um yeah unfortunately it hasn't knocked out a lot of the pain it's just been sort of more of a, a nice pleasant feeling but we'll see how it does tomorrow as well when the pain is a little bit less too I think but for now I'm just going to eat this food and continue on watching like YouTube videos and stuff and then I also have a few emails that popped up that I need to answer oh I'm really sorry guys but I realized like I've been absolutely useless today at vlogging oh the kettle's boiling in here um I like I've basically just been on my laptop all day reading a book or like eating as I've shown you already just doing dinner now I'm just cooking some like vegan chicken noodle soup to get in a packet um, which is nice and easy to do and I just feel like something you know easy to cook tonight I'm actually feeling okay like after I had to take what was that I think it's a dishwasher um, I had to take a yeah dishwasher I had to take a um, ibuprofen some ibuprofen earlier on today when the pain like really started going as I told you before but after that I was fine it's starting to come back in a little bit more now so I think I'm gonna try and change that patch and see if there's anything but I think what I figured out is it's basically just like one of those you know menthol patches that you stick on your head when you've got a migraine and it's like really cooling and stuff but maybe doesn't necessarily solve the problem so we'll see but we'll see how it does um, if I take it on when it was fresh it was really nice and tingly but it did wear off kind of within a couple of hours I'd say I don't really think it lasts 12 hours as such but um, we'll, give, we'll give it another go you know we'll give it a fair try anyway as I said I'm just cooking dinner I need to put some of my clothes away that hang up here oh this box over here I'm gonna try and build this tomorrow I ordered a new bookshelf it's like this tree zigzaggy thing um, which I wanted like a quirky bookshelf for my bedroom uh, just to sit in the corner so if I've got the energy tomorrow I'll try and build that and I'll maybe film a bit of it um, today I just felt like being really lazy and lounging around but tomorrow will be day three and I usually feel a lot better by then anyway it sounds like the kettle's about to boil so I'm just gonna go and put my food on now so I've realized that I've been a complete idiot today it's Wednesday and I didn't even think about getting a video done I'm just like what? Oh, I'm so mad at myself, and I kind of knew what I was going to do this week as well, but for some reason, like, it just literally flew out the top of my head today, so, anyway, I mean, it's not the end of the world, I can do it tomorrow, I think I still have a, a pretty free day tomorrow, which is good, so I'll try and get that done at least, um, yeah, just, oh my, I just literally, about an hour ago, I suddenly thought, I haven't done a video, and it's Wednesday, it just, like I said, blew out my mind. Anyway, I'm currently running a bath because I'm feeling a bit, mm, again, not bad, but just, you know, a bit like, I want to pamper myself and I love having baths, even on my period, like it doesn't bother me, but I just, I prefer to have baths, I've never been a shower person. So yeah, just doing that now, I had some dinner, which I think I showed you before, it was just that like chicken noodle soup, um, and I might have a couple of biscuits when I get out as well, just because I feel like something sweet. But yeah, today's been like, today's been good. Again, like I didn't want to jinx it yesterday because yesterday was really good. Like I said, I couldn't I couldn't manage it completely naturally today, unfortunately. But having said that, I've only had to take well I took I took two ibuprofen like earlier on today as the pain started kicking in around twelve, I think. And then I only had to take one ibuprofen at like nine PM this evening or something. So like that's for adenomyosis that is insane. Like so even that is good, you know, and um, I'm, pre I'm pleased with that either way, just taking less I think is a good thing, you know, I just I don't want to be taking too much. I, I only have one packet and I'm hoping that that's all I'll need to use for this cycle. So hopefully tomorrow will be alright as well. Um, I've got, I switched the patch over so I put a new one on and uh, they say you can use it in the bar so we'll see how it puts up with that as well. Um, it definitely feels like a really cooling sensation within like 15 minutes putting it on but that does kind of wear off over time. I definitely am smelling a menthol, like I'm leaving a trail of like minty smellingness around me. Um, like the deep freeze spray, you know there's injury sprays. I guess you could just use that spray on your stomach. Um, but I don't, I actually know I do have one of them for my dance bag, but I, I don't like the smell or anything. Anyway, it is currently, oh, it's half past 11 at night, yeah. I am going to have this bath, just read a book and head off to bed, and then I will see you guys in the morning. So it's Thursday now, it's actually coming up to 1 o'clock. Um, I've had a very interesting sort of morning, well not interesting at all, but anyway, I woke, I went to sleep about like 2.30 I think, I was still like wide awake at 2 o'clock, I really wasn't tired, so I was just reading my book, and then I must have got sleep sometime between 2 and 3, and then I woke up again at like 7.30, sometime late 7 o'clock, 
uh, I mean the toilet and I thought I might have some cramping but I was actually okay so I just came back to bed and slept again until about 10 30 or coming up to 11 o'clock so I have had some decent sleep which is good I just had some like cereal for breakfast and stuff haven't really done anything since then apart from just finished watching a, a series I was watching on started watching on the BBC yesterday um but other than that nothing very interesting I'm debating whether or not because I've got my guests here at the moment I'm debating whether or not to go to my parents house to film today's video I think I might end up doing that uh just because I'm they're actually out in Dorset at the moment so um I think they get back later today but they won't get back until this evening I don't think so I should have the house to myself which would be good it would be nice and quiet perfect to film in um, yeah, so I think I will probably end up doing that, and I'm also going to need to start lunch at some point. So, actually, I might have that before I go. Right now, I'm not very hungry. I'm just, I'm still a bit, like, lethargic, if that makes sense. But, um, oh god, like, last night, the blood really started. I had a, I put some period underwear on, and I nearly didn't even put a lining in, because I thought, oh, I don't, I don't need this extra little bit in there. But I did, and thank god I did, because I went through that in, like, two hours. Um... But then after that it was fine. So that was like my heavy gush. I always have one like heavy gush and that's it. So that's done at least. Um, I put another patch on this morning. Another one of those cooling patches. It still felt like nice and good. I don't know if it's really stopping the cramps as I said before. But um, yeah so far today I felt alright. So hopefully that will stay and we're past the worst of it now. Which is good. And I need to get dressed because I'm just in like my sweatpants top. But I haven't even brushed my hair yet as you can probably see. So I need to get ready, get myself together, and then when I'm feeling a little bit bright and breezy, bright and breezy, a little bit brighter later on, I might go and film that video at my parents' house, but we'll see. I also debated putting that um, bookshelf together, as I talked about, but I think I'm going to wait till I have my mum to help me with that, because it's not my favourite thing to do, and she's really good at it. I might as well just wait for her to come and help me. It's now, like, half past five. I have still haven't done the video, um, but in my defence, there was something that came up. So I mentioned earlier that I had a guest staying with me, um, and she was supposed to be staying for around six weeks. She only came like a week ago, I think. Yeah, almost exactly a week ago now. And um, yeah, really good, lovely lady. But um, I got a call earlier today, like around three o'clock, I think, from um, the kind of referrers who were working with her saying that actually she was going to get housed and they needed her to go there today, um, which was great news for her, but meant that we had to kind of pack everything up and get ready. So I didn't have as much time. I mean, that obviously wasn't something I was expecting. So, you know, I thought, well, instead of going to my parents, having lunch and then going to my parents' house, I'll stay here, help her out, make sure everything's okay, and then I can just film my video later. So I still haven't done that, um, but fortunately it is still light, as you can see. Um, so I might be able to get that done. I don't know, I'm just, I want to do this video like talking about my agoraphobia and that kind of stuff, but I'm thinking I might leave that till next week and um, actually upload this video this evening instead because I know people love watching these period vlogs and because I'm already a day late I figured well I've done, I was only going to do three days of my period anyway so I might as well put this one up and then save that video for sometime next week when I've got a little bit more time maybe and also feel like sort of you know talking about that because I need to be in the right mind frame to do that. So yeah that's what I was thinking of doing and also I just feel a bit off today. Um, Period pain has been absolutely fine though, this period has been much better. I think that's because I've been a lot more strict about my plant-based diet for the last week. Um, which is really exciting and also like, um, a few days ago, because I went back to being really strictly plant-based, up until that point I hadn't really worried about it when I was at my parents' house and stuff, so I wanted my, you know, my mum knew I was plant-based and she'd seen, I think she's seen Forks Over Knives, my dad hasn't seen any of them, and I knew if I went back to being plant-based, if I sit down for a main meal somewhere, he'll say something like, oh, you know, Brian, this is good meat, or this is good cheese, or all that kind of stuff, and I have to be like but it's not good for me and it's not really that good for you and all that kind of stuff. So what I did, cunning plan, I've learned this from my mum, she's amazing at, you know, doing all these things. But anyway, I said to my mum, you know, I know you've seen this sort of thing, but I wanted to put on what's, uh, What the Health, which is a really good documentary. I think I've already mentioned, I highly recommend you watch it. But I decided what I'd do is plug it in her laptop into the main TV at their house one time when I was over because quite often what we'll do is we'll all sit in the sitting room and my dad will be there like on his iPad or doing a Sudoku or something and mum and I will be kind of talking to each other or watching something on TV so it was kind of playing in the background but my aim for this was to just get him to see like why I avoid this stuff and why I feel so much better when I don't eat it so that he wouldn't you know 
be like asking me questions all the time. Anyway, didn't really expect anything else of that because I was like, my dad's never gonna take this really seriously, but as long as he has a better understanding, that'd be good. And then the other day when he dropped me off home, um, he made some comment about how actually this Sunday we were gonna be having a, a nut roast. And now, I don't know how much you know, but hang on, I need to put the camera down for this bit. But like, the Sunday dinner is sacred in British traditions. I have a friend who lives 40 minutes away from her family home, from her dad, and she will still drive back home on Sunday to have the Sunday roast. We always have like roast beef or roast pork or roast lamb or roast chicken, whatever, with like vegetables and roast potatoes and gravy and all that kind of stuff. It's very traditional. We usually have it on a Sunday for dinner. Some people have it for lunch as well. But you know, it, it's a very important thing and it's like very traditional. We've done it for ages in my family. I still go back to my parents' house on a Sunday for this stuff. So for my dad to be like, oh, we're gonna have a nut roast this week was like, Oh my god, it actually sunk in, this stuff. I couldn't believe it, I was actually shocked. So um, yeah, it's really surprising to see and also really positive as well, I thought. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, I was just, I was so shocked when I was in the car and I heard him say that. I was like, oh my goodness. I never expected it to work that well. Um, but yeah, you know, it's just funny how, like, because he didn't make any comment on it at the time and I was kind of a bit disappointed because I didn't think he was watching it as much as I was kind of hoping he sort of would kind of be watching it. <laughs> but obviously he was, so there we are. Anyway, I was gonna say I need to work. Oh, I do need to work. This script, I think I've been talking about it a bit before. I nearly finished it yesterday, but I've got to finish it for tomorrow because I have to send it off tomorrow. Um, and I've got to do some research and some statistics that the charity have sent over to me, so I need to do that now. So actually I have got to do quite a bit of work right now. Eee, definitely I'm gonna fit the time into that video today then. I'm trying to think about dinner now, and I think I'm gonna make a sort of mushroom stroganoff. I, um, I have quite a few veg in my fridge because when my guest left, she actually left some of the veg for me. Um, she like for some reason, whenever people go, they always want to feel like they're they're giving you something, which I totally understand. And uh, for some food, it's always food. They always want to either like cook for you or give you food or stuff. So like she got me, as I said before, like loads of these different things. I can't have these on these uh, particular biscuits, unfortunately, but it was really sweet. So anyway, I have a lot of veg that I need to eat up and I have some mush, quite a few mushrooms. And I got the, she bought me these amazing, I've seen these in a lot of like Japanese recipes, uh, enoki mushrooms, you know, the really long ones. So I'm thinking I might use these in a stroganoff um, tonight. And yeah, I was thinking what was going to do with the mushrooms. I, I think I have, a, oh, I have a really good stroganoff recipe, so I will do that one. Either way, it's getting quite late, so I think I'm actually going to end my vlog here. Not with this weird lighting. Um, but I really hope you enjoyed this vlog, guys. I know it was very sort of tame, just me around the house, you know, but that's that's what my period vlog was like this month. Didn't really get up to anything that exciting, and I still need to build this freaking... Uh, this bookcase. I did put the washing away though, well, but put it away, I mean I folded it up there. So anyway, got something done today, um, and hopefully tomorrow I will get that bookshelf built. My parents are now back, my mum texted me to tell me they were home. So I might drag her over here and see if she can help me out tomorrow. Anyway, thanks so much for watching guys, please subscribe, and remember if you want to get cloth pads or menstrual cups, you can grab them from my website, Precious Stars, down below, and I will see you next week. Bye everyone! Bye.